Good morning. It's Saturday the 3rd of July. So happy Independence Day weekend to all my American friends and family and anyone else from the States that follows this channel. I hope you have a great weekend. We're headed up to Savannah in Georgia for the weekend. And we just fancy doing something a bit different. So we've booked a hotel. We're gonna go out there. There's a few things that I'd like to see and do. I'm not sure what the weather's gonna be like because uh, Tropical Storm Elsa, which is, I believe, just been upgraded to a category one hurricane, is kind of making its way up. And uh, we've had rain and storms, it feels like, every day for quite a while now. So I'm not sure what the weather all is gonna be like up there. I know it's very hot and humid. The hurricane is due to hit our area on Tuesday afternoon, but it probably will be back to a tropical storm by then. Um, you never really know, so we'll see who's that. Devo. Devo's interrupted my flow. Um, as always with me, no real plan, somewhat winging it. just crossed into Georgia from Florida about 10 minutes ago and we've stopped for gas and to just stretch our legs a bit and let Luna go to the bathroom. It stopped raining and it got brighter for a bit and now it's really cloudy again. Um, I think we've made good time but we're probably gonna miss the start of the kickoff of the England game. Uh, I found a bar where we can go, it's not the end of the world. England I think have got this. We should be beating the Ukraine but this is England in a major tournament so we'll see. It suddenly dawned on me though that it's a year to the weekend that I made my first YouTube video. Um, it was crazy, my first proper YouTube video was July 4th of last year. So one thing I'm always trying to improve with all this like making things is my workflow and how to continuously try and optimize that to speed things up. So I thought to myself, you know what, we've got a four, four and a half hour drive Jen said she would drive so I could do some filming and stuff. And I was like, you know what? I've got my MacBook with me. Let's carry on with the editing from the Epcot video. And I've learned that it's not possible. You can't edit on a MacBook in the passenger seat of a truck. Like, you can't, like, no. Hello again, we made it. We're here. We're in Savannah. Um, we thought our hotel would be ready at three, and it turns out the hotel's ready at four, so we couldn't check in yet. And the plan was we were gonna get here, take Luna for a walk, and then put her in the room while we came to the bar, but we couldn't. But we found a place that's pet friendly. Uh, it's called World of Beer. It's actually a chain, and there's a World of Beer. There's two World of Beers in where we live. There's one in downtown Orlando by Lake Eola, and then there's one in Claremont? I think it's Claremont, yeah. And they're pretty cool. They basically have a huge selection of draft and bottled beers, and then like just really delicious pub food. So we've ordered some drinks, and we've just ordered a ton of apple We've got mac and cheese bites coming, boneless wings, loaded tater tots, like so all, 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 the, all the good stuff. But anyway, we sat down, we've obviously missed that whole first half of the game, but we sat down just as Harry Kane put in England's third goal. So England are winning 3-0, and now safely through to the next round, which is awesome. I haven't had a beer and England are winning 3-0. Three, three I, feel, I feel like not really like an English Mariner. Anyway, this is the view. So we're actually in like the atrium area of the bar. We're not inside the real bar, but it just sits outside. And this one TV faces outside with audio. So that's pretty cool. And young ladies down there, Luna. Hello. The hotel's like a three minute walk away. So we're gonna catch up on some drinking, eat some food, and watch the remaining 30 odd so minutes of the, of the game. So come on, England. England have just scored their fourth goal, and um, they're playing really well. I mean, they're playing Ukraine, so let's not get carried away with ourselves. It's Denmark in the oh, This is not a football vlog, sorry. Um, anyway, the food's come. We've got a couple of pints. Mm. We've ordered fried mac and cheese bites. We have uh, big chicken tenders, which are in like a spicy barbecue sauce. And then we have tater tots that are loaded with bacon, melted cheese, sour cream, jalapenos, and onions. So some fried mac and cheese. So good. There's your loaded tater tots. Jalapeno, delicious. And uh, tenders in like a honey barbecue sauce. 
Perfect afternoon. Sitting outside in the warm, England smashing it, healthy food, a couple of beers. Perfect. Okay, England have won, 4-0. We missed, we missed like large parts of the game because just traveling up here and stuff. But we saw two goals, three goals, two, two goals. We saw the two goals, played very well, very happy. Uh, the food was delicious, it was all together too much. The fried mac and cheese, it was just too much food. Delicious. And we have a dinner reservation, that might, At night. That might change. Yeah, we're gonna go check into the hotel now. Okay, so our hotel is in the um, historic district of Savannah. And there's this nice little sort of quad type area with some greenery in the middle of all of the downtown streets and restaurants and stuff. It's really quite pretty. We're just on our way back to the hotel to check in. Um, and Luna has actually never been around this many people all at once. And she um, is currently refusing to go to the, uh, for a pee. You get it, you get it. Come on, Luna, you can do you it. Can do it. Luna. Go, Titi. Oh, that's sitting down. Oh, that's laying down. Oh, no. Okay, so it's a little bit later on in the day now. We stayed for another beer after the football, which was a phenomenal result. And then we went back to the hotel, checked in, played with Luna, took her out, fed her and all that stuff. And we just kind of chilled out for a little bit. And now we've headed out just to explore. We really just need to get our bearings. We've never been here before. And we haven't really planned too much. So we just decided to come out and stroll around. And we've walked down to this place called River Street, which is on the Savannah River. So this is the Savannah River here. And then just on the other side of this convention center over here is another little river called the Little Black River, and they merge further down. But effectively, just on the other side of that is South Carolina. So we're stood here in Georgia, and South Carolina is literally on the other side of this piece of land. My initial impressions of Savannah, very, very cool. It's very much sort of old meets new, I would say. I love it because there's a lot of character here and the buildings are very old brick buildings. And then some of the old brick buildings are like full up with new businesses and very bougie restaurants and bars and stuff. But I get the impression it's very much an industrial city. I know that this is river here and I've seen a ton of freight ships going up and down. And from like just reading very briefly, this in like the turn of the 20th century, this used to connect trade and travelers to like ports in Boston and New York, and it still seems to be very active. And I think a lot of the buildings, again, very industrial looking, but it, I get the impression that a lot of the buildings used to be like cotton, like cotton mills and, and cotton storage, and then maybe bottling plants and things. But it's a super pretty town. One of the most exciting things about it is that it's open carry. So you can go, you can buy your cocktail, or put it in a clear plastic cup, and you can just wander up and down the streets drinking, which, is a, is a win. So anyway, enough of the rambling. We're gonna go find a rooftop bar because there's a ton of rooftop bars and get some cocktails and watch the sunset and then plan better what we want to do tomorrow and more video after this bit. As I was just saying about um, industry and, and freight shipping, another huge freight liner has just come um, under that bridge. It's just a myth. I, I've never actually in all my life been right up near a freight ship and I'm kind of like in awe of how huge this is. I don't know if I just recorded that or not, but Jen tells me that it's, if you do that, <laughs> the, the, the tugboats might 
sound there. <laughs> they will. <laughs> it's a universal sign for. <laughs> 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 it's the universal sign. Let's go get a drink. No, no. Barney Chen's determined to get this to work. She's, there's another tugboat coming. Wait. I want it to get closer. Hold on. You think I could get him to do it? Uh, like if you were to bet $5. Oh, if it was $5, I'd say no. <laughs> I just want to give you context for how many people are actually here. Like, this isn't like a secluded spot where... where <laughs> Keep doing it! Don't give up now! <laughs> this street is it's in no way the same but it just kind of reminds me of the South Bank in London and just the vibe of like Savannah River or the River Thames and then just this like huge pedestrianized area with the bars and restaurants and up here is a really cool like power plant up there but yeah it's just kind of got this like really nice promenade that bridge is awesome but it's got this really nice promenade and just it's super cool like it's just a great mix of like old meets new like industry meets modern and as you can see like, even Starbucks here is in this sort of stone building yeah so I know that is nothing like the South Bank but just having this river here and then this just kind of I guess I miss home a lot <laughs> the JW Marriott is just up here and it has a rooftop bar so we're gonna go and see if they'll let the likes of us up there Still having another drink. Chris, like the fool that he is, left his phone in the room and Jen's phone was on like 5%. So Jen's gone to get a table. I went back to get my phone. We're literally staying on the street behind River Street. Um, this whole area, by the way, I saw is called the Plant River District and it's really cool down here. It's just bars and restaurants on top of each other, coffee shops, rooftop bars. Um, I would say, um, ladies, if you're gonna come here, or gents, if you're gonna come here wearing heels, time has passed. Uh, we sat and had a couple of cocktails and enjoyed the sunset. This bar is a rooftop bar on, on River Street. It's called Electric Moon and it's very cool. It's a Saturday night on a holiday weekend so the party crowd is well and truly out now um, and it's turned a little bit noisier. It's a very cool vibe, We're having a lot of fun. I understand that today's video might not have had a gr I don't know, it might not have had a very interesting content in it because we really didn't know what we'd be doing today. It's quite a long drive and then we had the delay of not getting into the hotel till a bit later where we had the football, we had to take care of Luna. So they might, I, I don't know. We've planned a few things that we want to do tomorrow. There's a cathedral we want to visit, the prettiest street in America apparently, and we might go to a very famous, uh, or a very well known at least, cemetery that's in the area. I mean, it looks stunning, you know, it's, it's very old cemetery. I think it's even been in a movie or two, so we'll go to some places for some food. And then we need to find another spot for the, there's a big fireworks display tomorrow. Uh, obviously it's Independence Day, over this river. So hopefully I'll be able to get some cool photos and maybe some video footage of that. We're just gonna chill for the rest of the night now. We've ordered a little bit of food because those appetizers earlier kind of killed us. So we ordered these little mini sliders to share. And the other thing we've got is called Patatas fritas, and it's basically like fried potato chips with like a, a citrus dressing and there's some like cream cheese on there. It doesn't look like much, but they're so tasty. Yeah, so anyway, that's it. We're gonna just uh, enjoy a couple of cocktails more. Our hotel is literally on the other side of this street, so we can just stumble home whenever we decide to. So we've got these couple more drinks. These are called electric lemonades. Um, they're pretty tasty. So thanks for watching to this point. 
Cheers. Cheers, everyone. I just humiliated myself, like my fat ass got stuck halfway down in front of this lovely group of ladies here. Yeah. What, what, what's your name? I'm Caitlin. Caitlin's getting married. Yeah. Congratulations. I don't know how this has happened because I just finished the video up there. <laughs> but anyway, but I was from Australia. So. <laughs> anyway, say goodnight. You can end it. Yeah. Bye.